Hey everybody, Sam back once again. Yes, I'm back with another Galaxy video. There's going to be a lot of content on this, so if you want to see it, then it's going to be here. If you don't, then just look away now. Anyway, in this video, we're going to show you what the initial setup process is like on, yes, the Galaxy S6, if I can say it correctly, Edge. So I've just unboxed it and I'll just show you how to put the SIM card in the phone. What we're going to do now is actually boot it on for the first time. So let's turn this bad boy on and boom, we are presented there with the Galaxy S6 Edge. I don't know why, saying Galaxy S6, it just it doesn't come off the tongue as easy. There, yeah, happy days. As um, as you would expect, it just kind of comes off a little, it's a little hard. And boom, that was pretty quick to turn on. So as you can see there, United Kingdom. So what we're going to do is going to take you through the initial setup and just ex maybe explain some of the details for you if you're not too sure what it means. So as you can see there, we've got South Africa, we've got United Kingdom, all the different languages. I will be doing a language video as well. So let's tap through into this one. We're then presented with connecting to a Wi-Fi network. So what I'm going to do is going to connect to my Wi-Fi network now. All right, so I've put my password in and we just want to click connect on there. And it should connect pretty quickly. Samsung devices have normally been pretty quickly in the past. So boom, we are now connected to my Wi-Fi network. Let's click on next. Here it's going to ask you for the terms and conditions. Now, this is the kind of stuff you can't really say no to. You can with some of it, but most of it you can't do. So here, it's asking you, do you are you okay for kind of some of the data? Now what they do is they take some of the data you're using, such as what you're pressing for kind of, kind of keystrokes, but it doesn't exactly tell them what you're doing. I don't normally click on those ones, so I untick that one personally. And on that one, click next. It's then saying, do you accept the terms and conditions? Now on this one, if you click disagree, you can't go any further. So guess what? You have to click agree. You can't, you can read them for all you want, but if you don't agree, you ain't gonna be playing with your phone today. <laughs> so just to click agree on that one straight away. Now Android's got this new quote called tap and go. You can use NFC to NFC and it transfers your data across for like your, your, like your user account. So if you've got more than one Gmail account, you can transfer it across to the other phone. Now, I'm not going to do that in today's video. I'm just going to set up as a brand new phone. So we're just going to click skip on this one. And this is the new kind of lollipop account. So you can add your accounts. So I've got quite a few Google accounts, but I'm only going to add one of them in today's video. So what you need to do is actually put your email address in there. So I'm just going to put mine in and we'll go to the next stage. Right, so we're now at the final stage and it's asking you, do you agree to the terms and conditions? Now, if you don't, you can't use the Play Store and you can't use some of the Google services. So again, on this one, I always just click accept because it's just easier to accept on that one straight away for you. So it's going to go to the check-in info and what that's doing is just making sure that your Google account, your password and everything like that is completely correct. And it's going to set your Google account up for your new phone. So that's all out of the way. What it's going to ask you for now is the time and date. Now, you can do it automatically. So as you can see there, you can adjust it by like British summer time. So currently we have got British summer time here in the UK. So the current time is 20 past two. We have the current date of the 10th of April. So yeah, we're happy with that one. Click next, just a sec. And this is getting your apps and your data from a previous phone. So if you're coming from an iPhone, this is not gonna be applicable to you. But if you're coming from a previous Android phone, maybe you've just upgraded from the Galaxy S4 to yes cycles come out and this is your new phone here you'll have like a little drop down box here and you can choose the phone that you've actually been using most recently so as you can see i've been using a htc one i've been using what's called a triple zero one the lg g3 and also the that was the galaxy note so what we're going to do is actually just going to click the most recent one which is the a triple zero one which i believe if i come from correct that's probably my one plus one so on this one i'm just going to click done if you've only used one phone, then you'll only have one of them there, so don't worry. At this point, you can choose which applications you want to install and which ones you don't, which I think is pretty cool. So you can go through them, you can click all apps, or if you untick it, you can then click the apps you want to put on there. So you're thinking, right, I want to have Dropbox, yeah, I want to have Falcon Pro. You can choose the apps individually, which ones you want to install. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through the applications now, um, off camera, so to speak. And we're going to go to the next stage, so I'll be right back. Right, so I've managed to pick all the applications I want to install. So if I click done on there, I've chose to select to install 48 of them. So all I need to do now on this stage is click next. And here, you're going to go to your Google services. Now, there's quite a lot of stuff normal here, so I can go down. So if you're running through this stuff, you can do. This is the, the, the kind of the basic stuff. 
It wants to know, do you want to back up your phone's apps, the app data, the settings and the Wi-Fi passwords? It's pretty self-explanatory. I always click yes because I don't mean I don't mind it. Google Location Services. Now, what this does is if you're using an application when you're out and about, it's got a better understanding where you're going to be. I personally have this one on. Now, you can help improve location services. Now, it says there, by letting apps and services scan for Wi-Fi networks even when the Wi-Fi is off. I, again, click yes on this one. It's mainly for location services. And this one is help, the, uh, help you improve your Android experience. Now, this is the one I don't have ticked on. Now, what this does is, again, it sends um, anonymous data to Google and it tells them what you're doing on your phone. Not exactly what you're doing, but it's kind of got some it's diagnostic data as the, as the thing they class it as. Uh, I'd personally have it on. If I was you, I wouldn't have it on. But again, it's, it's your choice on this one. Click next on there and it's restoring from my previous phone. So what it's doing now, it's downloading all those applications that I chose in the list. So it's going to do that. We're going to let it do its thing. Once it's finished, we shall uh, come back. So now you've got to this stage and it's going to ask you if you want a Samsung account. Now, the benefits of having the Samsung account specifically, they tell you here. So you can like, locate your lost device, you can get selected apps, you can back up and restore from Samsung. You can track your workouts, diets and more. You can get tickets, vouchers and payments. You can also lock your device um, from abroad or someone steals your device, you can actually lock your, your lock your device, which is cool. This is a new one. You can actually sign up with your Google ID. Now, I've already got an account, so I'm going to log into my account now, and I'll come right back. So, I've put my password in, and I've got to say, say, the terms and conditions, blah, blah, blah. You have to click OK, you don't have another option. And you can now agree to all of them, or you can agree to none of them. So, if I click agree to all, I can go straight to agree. Now, if you agree to this one, and this one, and then go, yeah, I'm okay with this one, you can then go to the next stage. So, you don't have to... In this case, tick them all. Tick them all. You have to tick the top two. So you have to agree to the terms and conditions and special terms. You have to agree to the Samsung private policy. The ones you don't have to do is the data combination policy. Now, in enhanced features, if you activate the service, your phone number, contact list, and messages will be automatically collected. Um, it may result in a data or, or SMS charges. So if you click on advanced enhanced features here. It's got a hell of a lot of details kind of just going through what it means individually. I'll be honest with you, I've not really got enough time to read through every part of it. I'm not 100% sure what this one means. So I'm not going to I'm not gonna click yes, I'm just going to click no. So I'm just going to tick the top two and that's, that's my recommendation. Again, you can choose your own if you want to read through it, you can do. But my recommendation is to tick just the top two. Okay. Click agree on this part. So at this point, it's going to send, it's going to log me into my Samsung account and it's going to ask me to want to back up and sync. So if you click back up and sync, yeah, yep. So your app is that one. So by storing your data on the Samsung server, you can back up and sync allows you to manage your data. You can choose what data will be backed up and synced via the settings option. That's cool. So I'm happy with that one. So click next. Download backup data. So you can click cancel or OK. So if we click OK. It's going to download the previous data from my Samsung account. So it's telling me the last time I had my Samsung account was back in the note. Yeah, so I'm actually going to click cancel this one. I'm not going to do it. So we're going to click later on that part for myself personally. So here, this is something I've not seen. I've not watched anyone's setup video, so I don't know if this is something completely new. So it's got the S voice helps you control your device with your voice. Use your voice easy to wake up the device, open apps, make calls and more. Sounds a bit like Google now to me. So we'll click set and we'll see where it's about. So tap start and then say your wake up command four times. Your command should be three to five syllables long. Examples is hi galaxy or hi there. So I'm going to go, what shall I say? Um, oh, no, how can, what shall I call mine? Oh, edge. There was, we'll do that one. So I'm, I'm about the same distance what they are there. Oh, edge. Oi, Edge. Oi, Edge. Oi, Edge. So as you can see, it's processing my voice there. It might be still listening to me, I think. Not too sure. Well, hey, there we go. It's now setup is complete. So as you can see, you can. I would say like... Oi Edge, call Charlie Mobile, as you can see there, and it would call Charlie in his mobile. So we'll click Done, and we're happy with that one. 
So now the setup's complete, you can have easy mode on or off. Now, if you're at a certain age and you're thinking, I just want my phone to be stupidly easy, you want to click easy mode. I'm not going to do that for the purpose of this video because this is just a normal, a normal setup. So click finish. And at this point, you should, as you can see there, you've got like a little edge that popped in. You should be completely set up. Now, as you can see there, that's a different wallpaper than you're used to seeing. And I've got content from all device, so you can click smart switch, blah, blah, blah. If we open that, let's see what it's going to say. I've not seen this one before. Ah, there we go. It's just a Samsung application, so we'll just ignore that one there. But that's pretty much it. That's the initial setup, or the first time setup, on your Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge or the S6, because effectively the same. Apart from on the edge, you get, if I can do it, the little section there, which we're going to do in a future video for you. But that's it, people. That is my first look, my first kind of setup, whatever you want to call it, initial setup of the Galaxy S6 Edge. If you've got any questions about it, you know what to do by now. You can hit me up down below. The video has been a bit longer than it would normally be, but there was quite a lot of settings in there. But yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go off. Thank you for watching. If you're new to your channel, please do hit subscribe. Also, hit the like button because, yeah, it, it's all free. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go off. I'm going to stop rambling. And you'll see me, hopefully, in my next video. Cheers, everyone.